everyone, welcome back to Bear. I'm Stephanie. Today I have a tutorial to go over with you as well as a mini review of the Smashbox Mini Full Exposure Eyeshadow Palette. I received this from Norsham for their anniversary sale and I spent $22 on it. It is a great palette. Uh, the colors on the front of the box pretty much sold me in and I have actually have never used Smashbox's eyeshadows before so I actually was highly impressed. This is what the box looks like when you purchase it and this is what the palette looks like. So I mainly got this for travel. I'm going to be traveling start toward the end of August for a fashion week and I thought that this would be perfect for me to take along with me. So let's open it up and see what it looks like inside. You have eight shadows at the top row you have all shimmer so this is all shimmer and on the bottom row you have four matte shades they're not named none of the colors are named by anything they all go shimmer one two three four and matte one two three and four so i went ahead and did a daytime tutorial and this is pretty much how I would wear the palette during the day. This is what I came up with as far as for a daytime look. This is how I would use the palette during the day. For night, if I was going to kind of deepen up the look, besides adding some false eyelashes or perhaps adding, mixing in some black eyeshadow um, inside more of the outer V of the crease and smoke it up a little bit, you can mix some black with matte one and also using shimmer number four in your inner tear duct or using shimmer number four inside your crease will really bring out that nighttime effect. So I think the palette is great. It offers, I think it offers a nice variety of having a day look, a night look. It's a nice safe neutral palette if you're that type of person and the fact that it's so slim and so compact for travel, the width is no thicker than maybe about two credit cards put together. It's very small, it's not gonna take up any room. On the back of the palette, you do have a barcode, so with your smartphone, you can scan this, it will send you to an external website, and it shows you all type of eye looks that you can create with the palette based on your actual eye shape. So I thought that was very helpful of Smashbox to include that. So I'll go ahead and show you the colors on my hand so you can get a better idea of what it looks like. Here are the shades swatched on my hand. So at the top you have the shimmers, and this is shimmer one. That is shimmer two. This is shimmer three and shimmer four. Shimmer one is a copper tone color with gold flecks, very subtle gold flecks. Shimmer two is a pale champagne, almost a rose gold shade. Shimmer three is a, another champagne color, but it doesn't have a pink undertone, so it makes a nice brow bone color. And shimmer four is what I was talking about for evening. It is a grayish blue shimmer. It's very pretty. At the bottom, we have four mattes. So, on this side is matte one. This is the deep, rich, dark brown. We have matte two, which is a very light beige, almost a vanilla nude, another uh, brow bone shade. Then we have matte three, which is, I would say, the lightest shade. It also mixes very well with number two. Those are the two shades I like to mix together for my brow bone. And then you have matte four, which is a lighter brown shade. It matches shimmer four in the sense of the brown has a blue undertone. So you have four mattes and you have four shimmers. I'm going to take matte one and apply it all over my lid, stopping at the base. I'm just going to apply it again all over the lid but stopping before I hit the base. Next with the flat brush, I'm taking matte four and applying that on my inner base of the eyelid. 
I want to create a transitional effect between the two browns of the lightest brown and the darker brown. So matte four towards the inner lid, stopping about midway. Matte one right on the other side of my eyelid base. Pulling matte one in a little bit into the crease. You know, as you can see, matte one really deepens up the eye. And I'm pulling into my crease, doing the windshield wiper motion, and bringing it up a little bit, high up onto the crease for a smokier effect. So now you can see the transition between matte four as it blends into the darker brown of matte one. Now with my fluffy blending brush I'm just going to blend everything in and remove any harsh lines. Back to my flat brush I used for my eyelid and apply a little bit more of shimmer one to the top just to pull it in a little bit more because I want to see a little bit more shimmer up there. I'm going to mix matte 2 and matte 3 together because I don't like wasting shades that are in palettes and the colors for the brow bone tend to be too much they, they blend in into my regular skin tone, but I still want to use it. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply matte three to the top of my brow bone and mix in matte two. And by mixing the two colors, the light and the dark, it actually creates a nice brow bone shade, I feel, and a nice transition from the deep, medium, shimmer, and then light. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of shimmer too, right in the inner tear duct area, just to add a little bit of brightness. Apply some of matte one to my lower lash line. A little bit of a mistake there. So you're just going to drag that right across. And I'm also going to deepen it up a little bit with some eyeliner. So now I'm going to take Lancome's Black Coffee and line my top and bottom lash lines. And then I'm going to apply some to my bottom lash line. I like to go back in with my smudge brush and smudge that out for a little smoke effect. I'm going to take the Estee Lauder More Than Mascara in very black and I'm going to apply that to my bottom lashes. And this mascara is great. It separates. It doesn't run or flake onto your bottom lashes or flake onto and ruin your concealer or ruin your foundation. It's just a great separating of the lashes. For my top lashes, I'm using Guerlain's Maxi Lash in very black and just apply some mascara to my top lashes. 
This mascara builds and builds and builds so you can add coat after coat after coat until you get the desired false lash effect that you like but it still builds as you can see and it doesn't clump. That is like my new favorite mascara for 2014. So that's the completed look using the Smashbox Mini. I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial. It was so much fun to just go ahead and incorporate these colors for a nice day look as well as for evening. It's great if you can get your hands on this palette. It is sold exclusively for Nordstrom's anniversary sale. Again, $22. Try to look at your local Nordstrom's. Um, go ahead and contact them via Twitter. They respond actually very quick on Twitter as well as through their chat on their website and they can hopefully locate one for you at their store. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feedback, concerns, please leave them down in the down bar. I also welcome you to visit all of their social media sites. We're on Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, and YouTube. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. I will see you in the next video. Bye.